Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the mixed lymphocyte reaction. So it is a technique used to assess whether an individual is going to be undergoing an immune response against another individual's cells or graft. So, I mean, naturally, we know from all the other episodes that in this series, we know that, generally speaking, unless it was an autograft or an isograft, this uh, the immune system is going to be eliciting a reaction. However, it is important to know to what extent this reaction is going to be, or this rejection is going to be, uh, is going to be. So, the steps are as follows. First of all, we're going to be taking a sample of mononuclear cells from two donors, the X and the Y, the ones that we want to study whether there's going to be an immune reaction or how severe the immune reaction is going to be. Now, we're going to be making sure to add the, mito, uh, the mitomycin B or any other chemically, uh, uh, chemical that is going to be mitotically activate the mononuclear cells of Y. Now, this is why it's important. Uh, the, the essentially, we're going to be having a very limited number of Y cells, and these Y cells are going to be the ones that the X cells are going to be binding to and eliciting a reaction. We'll understand that as we progress in these steps. Next, we're going to be mixing them up. So now we have a lot of, well, well to an extent, since we are, uh, these are going to be clonally expanding after, uh, after they recognize themselves. Uh, rec Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the mixed lymphocyte reaction. So it is a technique used to assess whether an individual is going to be undergoing an immune response against another individual cells or graft. Now, this is not very accurate because generally speaking, we know that autografts and uh, autografts and isografts are going to be not, uh, they're not going to be inducing any immune reaction and the others be it xenografts or allografts they are going to be inducing these uh, inducing certain reactions however it is very important to know to what extent these immune reactions are going to be so the steps are as follows we take a sample of the mononuclear cells from two donors the x and the y and we uh, we make sure that one of these two are going to be uh, we're going to be adding some mitotically uh, some chemicals that are going to be preventing the mitosis of these cells now next we're going to be mixing them together the donors x uh, the donors uh, x cd8 that means the cytotoxic t cells are going to be binding as we all know the cd8 plus are going to be or the cytotoxic t cells are going to be binding to the mhc plus class one of the donor Y, APCs, while the donors X, CD4+, plus, that means the T helper cells, are going to be binding to the MHC class 2 also naturally. Now, what is going to be happening here is that after clonal expansion, so now they know that there is a problem, they know that these are not self, right, because they bound to them, since we, we can deduce that when they uh, basically, uh, when they um, bind to these MHC class 1 and the MHC class 2, we're going to be inducing different types of reactions, and this is what we're going to be discussing now. So after clonal expansion, I mean, obviously, we're going to be having clonal expansion because um, these cells, they're not going to be, um, how can I say this? Only a few cells are not going to be taking care of the whole body. So naturally, our cells are going to be expanding in number and they're going to be specific against this particular cell. So after clonal expansion and maturation of the CD8+, that means the cytotoxic T cells, they're going to be binding to the MHC class 1 and as we all know, cytotoxic T cells are going to be killing these cells. And CD4+, are going to be binding to the MHC class 2 and what they're going to do, they're, well, we know that uh, CD4+, plus or the T helper cells, are going to be uh, releasing cytokines. These cytokines are going to be leading to many problems that are going to be discussed in a future video. These actions are going to be, in, uh, these actions will indicate that if we were to graft cells from a donor to a recipient, they would get rejected. Now, this concludes this, uh, today's episode of Transplantational Immunology. This has been Ali from B-Biology.